people who contribute to seminary students are really contributing to God's overall divine mission in Jesus Christ to be agents of healing. I'm so excited about the next stop on our tour. We are going to be visiting Karen Jenkins. I actually met Karen for the first time in class here at Northeastern. She is a current student working on her master's, and we're going to find out how Northeastern is making an impact and helping her in her ministry. Through learning the different Christian theologies around the world, it broadened my perspective and my worldview. I have a respect and an understanding and a longing to want to know about other people and their cultures and how they practice Christianity. I think for a new student that's looking into attending seminary, seminary will equip you to hone in on their own theological beliefs. My beliefs going into seminary have completely evolved after actually getting an education and studying. It's helped me to see that I am an extension of Christ's ministry in the world. I share what I learned from seminary with my patients. I'm a dental hygienist. I love my job because I love people. As I'm cleaning their teeth, I share with them everything. My papers that I'm writing, the books that I'm reading. I've noticed a lot of my patients are really responding like emotionally to the things that I'm sharing wow. with them so to the point I'm actually I'm ministering to them in my chair. I shared a book I'm reading in a, my spiritual formation and social justice class. It's called The Sunflower and I shared with him the basic story of the book which is about forgiveness. Whether or not a man who survived the Holocaust would be able to forgive. So I shared that with my patient and he explained to me that he had struggled with unforgiveness for years. It really has helped shape me, I think, as a minister, just to be able to share the things that I'm learning. I see that it has a profound impact in people's lives like because they're able to connect and relate and see themselves in the stories that I tell them and the things that I'm speaking to them. They're able to see themselves in that story and, and they're able to gain healing for their own selves. It sounds like seminary has given you confidence to move forward with your calling. It gives me enthusiasm and energy to continue down this path and I one day want to have my own ministry. God has given me a vision of a healing community. I feel passion for the gospel of Jesus Christ. That was transformative. Karen, can you share with me what it, it means to you to be a scholarship recipient making seminary possible? I have to work full time to attend seminary. It's something that I cannot afford. Without the scholarships that I've received, it would have had to come out of my own pocket. I'm grateful for those who have donated their gifts to seminary students and and to me particularly, I am very grateful you have helped my family. People who are generous make a big contribution to families that really need the help. Without that help, I would have been struggling to pay bills and to put food on the table. And that's something I don't have to stress out about that because I want to be an agent of healing in the world. And so people who contribute to seminary students are really contributing to God's overall divine mission in Jesus Christ to be agents of healing. So that donation is effective and that has a lasting impact, not just in the person's life, but in the local community. You're helping to shape and form the spirituality of people that live in Rochester and to all those who would have their lives touched by a seminary student. The contribution, no matter how small it is, has ripple effects that can last throughout generations. Did you just love Karen? I love her passion. She is just so committed to making an impact for the kingdom of God. Did you know that you can be a part of that momentum as well by joining us for our Day of Giving, which is coming up on Wednesday, April 24th. Mark your calendar. We'd love to have you participate.